Have you ever been frustrated because you saw a trick that looked amazing, but when you bought it, you found out it was either too hard to do or not quite right for your act? Ask any magician, we all have closets full of expensive tricks we never use. Here are three ways to pick magic tricks that are right for you as a kid's magician or a clown. Utility props. There are some props that you can use with a lot of different tricks. Buy those first. Props that can be used to enhance other magic tricks are always a good investment. For example, fun magic wands can take a basic trick and make it three to five minutes of lots of fun. When you look at a new prop, think, are there lots of ways I could use this? Those are the kind of props you want to get first. Get a change bag. Get comedy wands. Get a breakaway fan. Those are the kind of props that you'll use over and over, even when you develop new acts and new routines. Does it fit you? Does it fit your skill level? A lot of people just starting out like self-working tricks. These are tricks that don't take intricate sleight of hand or specialized skills to perform. This doesn't mean that they're not good magic. It just means that you can focus on a fun, hilarious presentation of that trick. Some examples are a magic coloring book, a wilting flower, or comedy wands. As you put your act together, tie each trick into the next one. Have a reason for every trick in your act. Don't just include a trick because it's cool. For example, a magic shoelace could lead to a discussion of colors which could lead into a trick with Crayolas, which then could lead into your magic coloring book. Now you're telling the story, not just doing magic tricks. Funny and amazing. Beginners should look for tricks that are easy. Self-working is a plus. Visually stunning and tricks that seem like miracles. But funny is best. Think of the best kids entertainer that you know they can take virtually any trick and make it great by presenting it in a fun and funny way. For example, the Axtell drawing board always gets a strong reaction from the audience. But a great performer can take it and make it even better by not only doing something amazing, but presenting it in a way that is fun and funny for the audience. So when you're buying a trick, don't just look at how cool the demonstration is or if it looks amazing. Ask yourself three questions. Number one, can I think lots of ways to use this? Number two, does it fit my skills and fit my act? Number three, is it funny and amazing, but mostly funny? If the answers are yes, you have a real winner. In the comments below, Tell us what the best prop you've ever purchased is.